All right, Kiara, you're first. Uh, Garrison, throughout the, the year, we've been asking you about your satisfaction um, with games. How are you feeling after this win against Duke? Man, I'm pissed off, man. I'm mad. No, I'm just joking. Um, we did. <laughs> I'm glad we beat Duke. It was um, a fun game. I mean, it's, we knew it was going to be close regardless. I mean, every year, I mean, you even look back at last year, like we obviously weren't that good, but it's always going to be close. That's the robbery. And we just fought and we came out with a W and that's all we care about. Brendan. Yeah, Armando, coming off the Clemson game, obviously great to get the bounce back win. How does this sort of position you guys now for the future, especially being able to win at their place? Is there like a renewed sense of confidence from that? Definitely. I mean, with the with the Clemson loss, we didn't feel like we took a step backwards, but we just knew we wanted to come out here and win. But I mean, we got a quick turnaround against Miami, who's been on fire. They got a good team and they match up with us pretty well. So honestly, we can have a little fun with each other tonight. But tomorrow we got to be ready to uh, prepare for Miami on Monday. Ross. Hey, uh, Armando, what do you think about Caleb Love's performance? Man, I'm just glad for him. I knew I knew he had one of those games coming. I mean, he's a great player. He really is. And just to see him doing it in the biggest stage and I probably one of our biggest games this year was just huge for him. And hopefully this can carry over with his confidence going into later in the season. And maybe hopefully this is where we see Caleb Love be born. Yeah, go ahead. Armando, how much different does this team feel now as opposed to that first time you guys are going into a game against Miami? Going into the game versus Miami, we were on a tough kind of stretch. Um, and I didn't think we played that well versus Miami the first time we played them. But we got a lot better since the last time we played them. And we got a lot of confidence, confidence definitely after this game. But we can't Adam, be complacent, though. Sorry about that, Armando. Adam, go ahead. Hey, Armando. I, I was going to ask you about Caleb Love. Uh, Caleb, too, and, and Ross was kind of hitting on what I was thinking. But what – where are the moments that you see him? You talk about him being born or becoming who he can become. When do you see that? I mean, is it just like those crazy athletic dunks like he had or the threes? Or are there, are there different places where you, you see it? Happen? Thing, I mean, Caleb, he's a great defender, the way he can slide his feet and just affect the game on defense. And, like, I mean, the pass he threw to me, the alley -oop, that's a hard pass to make for any guard at any level. And it's just plays like that. It's just like you said, him attacking. And when he can shoot the ball, he can be dangerous because he can draw the ball too. And when Caleb's playing good, that I feel like that changed the whole dynamic of our team. All right, uh, Todd Gibson, last one, and then we'll get G in here. Hey, Armando, watching the game on TV, it just didn't feel the same. But as a player, what was it like out there? Did it, did it feel like a Duke-UNC rivalry? Can you explain to me what it felt like on the floor? Definitely. We was on the edge of our seats the whole time, just anxious. And I mean, it's Duke Carolina. It was the same feeling as it was back last year for me and for the team, I would say. We got to win this game. We know how much it means. Like I said the other day, but bragging rights for the fans, for ourselves, with us knowing all of them, we just wanted to win this game badly. Thanks, Mondo.